Hey guys, okay, so if the quality looks a little different, um, it's because I'm filming on my sister's camera. I just filmed a couple of videos on my camera and it's charging right now. So I wanted to do this girl chat video. I know I haven't done one of these in a really long time, but since it's 2011, I wanted to do them again and I don't know. And this one, I, this certain topic, I really, really, really wanted to talk about um, because I personally have gone through it. And I know a lot of girls either have gone through it or are going to go through it. Um, and it's about long-distance relationships. Um, so I first want to say that not everyone um, will probably be in a long-distance relationship. And don't judge that until you've been in one because you really don't know what it's like. Um, until you've really been in that, you know, you can't judge something just because you think it's like, um, it won't work out because of the distance or whatever. And long distance relationships aren't for everyone. Let's note that. And, okay, so I'm basically just going to say like my experience, but I'm not going to go too in detail with that. I'm going to try not to because I like to keep some things, you know, on a down low private to myself so you guys don't have to know every little um, tidbit of my life, but, um, this is what the girl chat videos are for, you know, you guys can kind of get to know me, you know, what I've been through, and all that, you guys can relate to me, um, even if you haven't been through this situation, you guys can relate to me, relate to me as well, and if I play with my hair, it's because I just cut it, um, you can see in the video, um, that I put up recently, like my new hair slash haul, and yeah, so, I'm just playing with it, I don't know, just ignore it. <laughs> but anyways, back to the girl chat video. Okay, so long distance relationship. I was in one f uh, my sophomore year of high school to my senior year. And um, we broke up. He broke up with me. And it was kind of unexpected. Um, I didn't want to break up, obviously, because it was unexpected to me. And I honestly really don't know why he broke up with me. He says that it was because he couldn't take the distance. But I mean, how can you not take the distance and you were to get you were with me for two and a half years? Like, wouldn't you think if you couldn't really take the distance, you would have broken up with me sooner? I don't know, boys. I don't know. Something's just not right in the head or something like that. Um, or they're just making up excuses, and that's what I think. So, anyways, that's why he basically broke up with me. But then, like a week later, he freaking breaks up with me, and then, or after he breaks up with me, a week later after that. He gets with his current girlfriend's sister. Yeah. And then after that, he breaks up with her and gets with his current girlfriend. I don't know. It's really strange. Really weird. Anyway, so he's still with her till this day. And our breakup was kind of eh. It wasn't that great. It was probably, like, the one of my worst breakups. Um, I considered him my first, like, real boyfriend. Because, um, I don't know. I just do. Because he was, like, my first boyfriend in high school. And... Yeah, all that. So, long distance relationships can be a struggle, obviously. Um, especially because we didn't drive at the time. He drove towards the end of our relationship, but he didn't really see me that much. Um, because, obviously, gas is a lot. And it was an hour and a half. We live, like, an hour and a half or less, depending on how fast you drive or whatever. Um, I live in the Bay Area, as you guys know, and he lives, like, over by Santa Cruz, like, half an hour after, past Santa Cruz. Don't really want to say the name or whatever. Um, but yeah, it was, like, a, I don't know. It wasn't a great overall breakup. It was an alright relationship, I guess you could say, but it wasn't that great of a relationship. It could have been better, I think, if we did live in the same, um, city, we would probably still be together. Um, because, I mean, we didn't have, we didn't clash that much. We had similarities and we also had differences. But overall, we got, we got, I don't know. Overall, we pretty got along pretty good, basically. But, I don't know. It was just, like, um, the distance that kept us in the way of our emotional connection our physical connection I guess I mean the physical connection was there and all but the emotional connection was kind of there but the distance is what kind of kept us apart and plus there's a lot of drama obviously because high school deals with drama but um there's a lot of drama on his side of the part because there's a lot of girls trying to like 
make me weak and trying to break us up because they didn't like the fact that there was this new girl in town that took one of their guys or whatever. I don't know. It was really ridiculous and selfish and stupid of them. But it didn't break me. It was just really annoying how girls could be super catty and kind of just um, break up like a couple like this, you know? I don't know. It's really selfish. And it's kind of stupid. Like, it's like that you guys don't think, like, hello, do something better than break up somebody else. Like, go get a relationship or something like that. I don't know, but do something else with your life. Like, you're in high school. Like, seriously, the drama is not what the high school is all about, even though it really is. But drama is stupid. Girls are catty and dumb. But, yeah, distance kind of separated us a lot. And we saw each other maybe twice a month or maybe even more, depending on like, what we really did. Like, depending on our parents schedule and all that but it was an alright relationship like I said we probably would still be together right now um if it wasn't distance but the breakup was eh like I said I'm, I'll, I'll talk about the breakup okay so we broke up then he like started calling me names and everything obviously I still had feelings for him because I didn't want the breakup but he did but he didn't and um yeah, I don't know. He still calls me and texts me till this day and IMs me on Facebook and all that. Um, just because I think he still has feelings for me. I think he always will because he hasn't fully gotten rid of them because he moved on so fast. And I got rid of, got rid of my feelings like that because he moved on so fast and because it's like, why the hell should I um, cry over somebody who already moved on, you know, like, why I shouldn't even be soaking here. I should be, like, having fun or stuff. Like, so I got, I got over it pretty quickly than I would have, or what I thought I would have. But I didn't move on, like, from my current boyfriend until, like, a year later. So, I mean, um, but yeah, I feel like he still is going to have feelings for me. And I'm always going to have, like, something for him because I ne didn't really want it to break up. And I don't know, I guess because he was like my first boyfriend and my high school sweetheart. So usually those are kind of like impacted in your life, I guess you could say. And you always remember them. Even though we had rough times, we had hard times, we had all that. I still feel like, I don't know, I don't really want to say that much. But I just feel like we could have worked it out, but... Um, him, I don't know, I feel like we're on two different parts of our life right now. I feel like now he's, like, too busy, like, drinking and all that shit. And I'm, like, kind of more calmed. And I don't really do any of that, as you guys know. Um, and I feel like he just doesn't really know who he is right now. Because, like, we still talk. There was a part where I didn't really want to talk to him. Like, after we broke up, I did not want anything to do with him. And then after the fact, he found out that I had a boyfriend. He decided he wanted to be back in my life and talk to me and be friends with me. And he would just make fun of my boyfriend. But now we're kind of being civil with each other just because, I don't know, I guess it's right. Because um, I don't like to hold grudges on anybody. I don't like to do that at all. And, I mean, he didn't, like, physically, like, abuse me or anything. It was kind of, like, a mental abuse, I guess you could say, because he he was kind of controlling. But, I mean, he didn't really, like, do anything, like, physically to me. It was just, like, mentally abused, and it, I don't know, it wasn't done in my part. It was done in his book. So, I don't know, we talked to this day and all that. My boyfriend knows about it, so don't worry about that. But, <laughs> um, I haven't seen him since graduation I believe my graduation in 09 so because he came to pick up my sister's ex-boyfriend and that's the last time I saw him and yeah I'm not really planning on seeing him anytime soon obviously but unless we just run into each other because he does come down here occasionally but that's it and that's my little experience that I wanted to show you guys but basically if you are in a long distance relationship there's good things and there's bad things the during the breakup if you are in a long distance relationship, the good thing is that you don't really have to see each other. So you could deal with it better. And it's kind of hard if you see somebody that you just broke up with. You know, it's all memories and it all comes back to you. But basically what a relationship is, is all memories. You know, that's all you have. And don't, I don't know, just don't be sad all the time. Just kind of just remember the memories 
and just be happy and you'll find somebody else and um it's obviously different than just like a regular relationship because there is so much distance um in the way you know and there's drama there's a lot of things that come with long distance relationships um but yeah it's all right i guess i don't know if i would ever put myself in that situation again i mean Maybe it was just the wrong time I was in a long distance relationship because I was so young. I was a sophomore in high school. But now, since I'm older, I may be able to, like, do it more, you know, um, since I have had that one experience. But I don't know. Um, I just want to let you guys know that those are, like, that's my experience. But don't take it, um, I don't know, don't get mad if I say anything, you know, about long distance relationship. And if you guys are in one, go, like, good luck. Power to you guys. Um. But I don't know, I'm not really sure if I would ever do that again. Uh, maybe, you know, if the right one's out there for me and he's um, there. And I do, still ha I do still have a boyfriend, okay? So, even if I said, like, the right one. But, um, could you guys know I don't really like to talk about my future? Like, I don't like to cur curse it, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know. So, that's my little take on my long-distance relationships. Um, but yeah, just make yourself happy, basically, if you guys break up, and don't let anybody get in the way of your guys' relationship, because, um, you guys are the only ones that really know the truth, you know, and long-distance relationships, the thing you worry about is, you obviously don't know where they are all the time, and you don't really know who their friends are, um, unless you do, but, I don't know, just, like, get to know their friends, get to know people, and have some friends out there so they can kind of keep an eye on the person, you know, the girl, the guy. And, yeah, so that's my little tip. If you guys have any questions about relationships in general or long-distance relationships, just let me know. Um, but, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video, okay? Bye, guys.